Born in Denver, Colorado, 41-year-old Tanner Faust is one of motorsport's most versatile men. The American makes his living as a racing driver, a television presenter, and a stunt driver. Tanner's love of all things automotive dates back to his childhood, when he was seduced by the charms of his father's sports car. This is a 1976 912E. This is, um, it's not an expensive car. It's, a, it's an old Porsche, but it's special to me. This is, my, this is my dad's car. He bought it in 76, new at the dealership. For me, this is the car I grew up thinking was the epitome of supercars and was the, what got me into cars in the first place. In this car, uh, there, I really had my first car moment. It was um, going from Colorado Boulevard to Hamden Avenue. I was about, I don't know, four or five years old. And uh, my dad went around the corner in second gear and got on the throttle a little bit and went a little bit in anger. And it was uh, the first time I'd, I'd heard tires squeal. And he made some excuse about, oh, I, you know, tires must be low, uh, something like that. But um, I, I couldn't help but wonder what it was. And I, and I literally have paid attention to every shift of every car I've been in since that moment. We met up with Tanner in his adopted home of Los Angeles, where he invited us along to Cars and Coffee, a Sunday morning celebration of Californian car culture. So you come here and it's kind of like a little bit of a, a little bit of a mecca of, uh, of everything. It's a mix, I mean, you have a beautiful Celica, you have some Mustangs, you have Panteras, new cars, old cars. Sometimes a different manufacturer will have kind of a, a get together of their make. So it'll be a Porsche weekend and you'll have some really amazing Porsches, Steve McQueen Porsches. Uh, $20 million Porsches will suddenly just come and park in the parking lot here in Irvine. And then right next to them will be a Fox body Mustang worth $8,000. So it's, it's a great mix of basically every cool car that you see on the road. Not surprisingly, Faust is a popular figure amongst the cars and coffee regulars. Thank you very much, Taylor. Thank you. I just wanted you? to say hi. Oh, hi. The last time you were here, my husband saw you, and I didn't come. I was oh. sick. And he came home and said, I saw Tanner Faust. I just died. <laughs> oh, I well, said, he's nice my favorite on TV, and I missed him. I yeah. wanted... Thank you very much. So nice to meet you, and Kathleen. Thank you. All right, nice to meet you. Have a good day. I've been asked before about is it like annoying or uncomfortable, I guess, when people recognize you from TV or from racing. And it's not. It's great. If they know what I do for a living, then they're car people because I'm not mainstream, you know. Uh, and so it's, it's very cool because we can talk cars. And, and anybody that I talk to here probably knows more about cars than I do, and I, and I like that, and I like learning about their car, the reason why they're car fans, so it's, um, it's not a problem at all. I think the GT40 and the 65 era is like the, one of the sexiest machines ever made. I love that it's 40 inches tall. It uh, makes me feel really tall, so that's a good thing. Like everybody here has different jobs and backgrounds, but there's this common denominator of being a car enthusiast, which you see from all walks of life that uh, car people can talk cars and they like to talk cars. And um, it would be really sad if all of this kind of uh, connection that people have on this level goes away. So I love these events. I love the fact that Californians and people around the country and around the world get together to talk cars just for the sake of talking cars. And any chance I can uh, make it to one of these, I do. Faust has competed in a wide range of motorsport disciplines. A three-time X Games Rally gold medalist and two-time Formula Drift champion, he's also driven in the Baja 1000 Desert Race and the Pikes Peak Hill Climb. But in recent years, 
Montana has turned his attention to rallycross. A short, sharp blend of circuit and off-road racing, rallycross has been described as the ultimate test of driver and machine. The FIA World Rallycross Championship sees drivers race head-to-head -head in 600-horsepower cars at venues around the globe. You have uh, Formula One stars like Jacques Villeneuve um, and others uh, already racing. You have Formula One stars like Jensen Button and others saying, oh, this is where I'm headed next is in the rallycross. Uh, in the U.S., you have action sports like Ken Block and uh, Bucky Lassick. Um, and Travis Pastrana doing it in the Global Rallycross Series. Anyway, there's between the drivers, the fan base of the drivers, and uh, the fact that these little wicked cars are so fast and fun to watch, it's like uh, a perfect storm in the fastest growing motorsport in the world. Tanner's TV career took off in 2010 when he was chosen to co-host the American version of motoring series Top Gear. Presenting with, uh, with Top Gear has been great. It's a show that reminds us that how the cars are fun, because you do weird things with them. You just have fun. It's just three guys doing their thing. And um, we don't have to act or be like anybody else than we are. Guys are inherently, we're pretty competitive creatures. And so uh, we just get to be competitive and let that go free, and somebody else pays the bills when we crash. It's awesome. Faust spends around 150 days a year shooting Top Gear and competes in various racing events for 25 weekends a season. He's also one of the film industry's foremost stunt drivers, having appeared in Hollywood blockbusters such as Iron Man 2 and The Bourne Ultimatum. But his stunt driving extends beyond the film world. Four years ago, Faust attempted a record-breaking distance jump at the Indianapolis 500. And the stunt side of things is a weird, twisted world. Stunts are uh, amazing and dangerous, but also very calculated. Uh, I've been lucky to be a part of some really big ones um, with Hot Wheels, where we uh, broke the world record for the longest jump. Um, it was 332 feet. And uh, so in a football field, that's goalpost to goalpost. And it was a big stunt that we did in a very professional way. We jumped probably 50 times uh, building and building and changing the aerodynamics of the truck and changing the suspension settings of the truck. And we had GPS and we had wheel speed sensors and all sorts of ways to make it scientific. But at the end of the day, you just have to put your foot on the floor and hit a ramp at 110 miles an hour. And you're in the air for almost four seconds and it just takes some guts to do it. At the 2012 X Games, Faust teamed up with Greg Tracy for another groundbreaking stunt, racing two cars through two six-story loops that become one single loop halfway round. It is an awful, wicked stunt because you can never test on a smaller version of a loop. You just have to go do it. And if the car breaks, it's an amazing crash because you're upside down six stories in the air and um, the crash would be, you wouldn't walk away from it. When we filmed with Tanner, his focus had shifted from the adrenaline-fueled world of stunts and racing to his new home, which was designed by his rally co-driver, Chrissy Beavis. So this is... Uh... This is uh, kind of the entryway. Now, Chrissy, um, who designed it, is also a fabricator. She, she made this kind of stuff literally in a day and a half. She fabricated this stuff in this uh, in her apartment building. I'm sure her neighbors love her for that. But the idea with this house is it's long and narrow, and um, so everything about it uh, uh, is all just kind of points down towards the water. So there's some things from childhood that you kind of want to keep. And one of those in my grandfather's uh, house, which was a much taller house than this, he had a, he had a laundry chute. And um, so I made sure that we were able to get a laundry chute in there. When I was a kid, my cousin used to throw me down the laundry chute. And I used to throw him down the laundry chute. So you could walk the clothes around very easily, but it's just nice to throw them down a hole. Something feels good about that. 
So when you stay in hotels all the time, the bathrooms become pretty important because you start to get an idea of what you like in hotels. But there's some car related things. This was Chrissy's idea, who is um, the architect. This is actually kind of recycled tire rubber and the sink is rubber. It seems kind of weird, but it works as a sink. Um, obviously it's water resistant, but uh, and easy to clean and all that kind of stuff, but uh, also a bit uh, environmentally friendly. In the bathroom, there's also some Chevron tiles and those are around the house and that's about car stuff. I didn't want to make everything so car centric considering that you can see a car in the garage from the bathroom, but um, it is nice because I like cars. So it's nice to have some car bits in here. And once you get to the other side of the house, there's a deck. Outside of the bedroom, there'll be you know, a deck and, uh, and a lawn here. This is designed to be a green roof, which helps control the, the temperature. Um, in uh, California is an important thing. And to control the temperature the other way, if it gets too cold, um, is a hot tub, which, which you need. With his television, film, and racing commitments, Faust is one of the four-wheeled world's busiest men. But this multi-talented maestro still craves new challenges and has ambitions to compete in iconic motorsports events such as Le Mans and the Dakar Rally. Given Tanner's track record, you wouldn't bet against him achieving those goals. There's no doubt that I'm living a dreamland lifestyle. There's absolutely no doubt that um, it's ridiculous and it's because it's fun stuff. And it's not, you know, money you make or anything like that. It's just, it's just that very quietly I would do it all for free. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.